Hello everyone, this is Shinrai Yoda with more Devil May Cry 1. In the last part, we defeated Griffin and also saw Griffin get killed by Mundus. Poor guy. And I just realized in the last video I didn't end off properly. And when that video was uploaded, the audio was a bit fucked up because my TV was very loud. So not only did the game capture like the game, well, my capture card captured both the game audio and my TV audio at the same time. So I apologize for that. But for now, uh, I wonder if I should get kicked for team level 2, or save up for Rolling Blaze, or get Meteor. I think I should save up for Inferno. Yeah, we'll save up for Inferno. Okay, so now we're going to do Nightmare of Darkness, Unravel the Mystery of the Staff of Earth. And right here, get a blue orb. Let's go up here. Right then. And let's go back. And here is another secret mission, Stairway of Tranquility. Acquire the blue orb at the end of the Stairway of Death. Alright then. Now basically all you have to do is, um, if you know how to use enemy stab, this is basically what you have to do. Fuck. Anyways, let's try again. Okay, can I adjust the camera? Okay. Jump, 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 jump. There we go! Okay, if I was fast enough, we could have gotten a bunch of, like, extra red orbs. Not necessary, but it would be nice, you know? It would be nice to get all those red orbs. You know? Okay. I am not gonna bother with you guys. I'm not gonna lie though, this game's ambience at night is really cool and very unnerving at the same time. You hear like wolf snarls, a monkey, I guess, howling. Or all those sounds be made by demons, so who knows what's making those noises. So now she's cracking the circle. The wheel of destiny shall guide into the land beginning. Shall I use the wheel of destiny? Yes, I will. Back to the castle. And things get really creepy at night in the castle. Who knew? Like I said, Devil May Cry 1 has some really nice ambience to it. Now there's a bunch of blue orbs you can get around here. First, um, there was one near the staircase over here. Come on. Right. Get more extra, extra health, which is always nice. Now there is a, another blue orb you can get. It's on top of those... It's basically right there. So all you gotta do is stinger off this statue right here, and there you go, you get it. Alright. Right? Now let's activate this switch.
We got a new enemy right here. This guy's name is Plasma. And you're gonna wanna beat him using Ifrit because using Alistar against Plasma is not recommended because obviously he is the electric element. So and Alistar does pure um, electrical damage. So are you serious? Come on. That was easy. He can also transform into Dante. Basically become like a doppelganger of some sort. Which he didn't really showcase it that much right there because he stayed in bat form for the most part. But we'll see more of him later. Okay. Like right here. Oh, he can also split. He can also split himself. Okay, that's it. Yeah, he basically like copies your moves. Oh, come on. Bro, how many of them are gonna have to fight? Alright then. Anything we can do right here, so let's just jump off. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, there was a bunch of plasmas we can find right there. And man, I'm gonna blue orb right here. This vision has a lot of blue orbs, so you don't want to miss out on them. That one, for some reason, you cannot break. A mysterious puddle of water, I guess. There's a strong surge of evil coming from the puddle of water. There's a voice in my head saying something. One who knocks on the gate and beyond to the underworld shall bottle the strength from the blue stone. Looks like that puddle contained a demon! Say hello to Nightmare! Now you can't really damage Nightmare when he's a puddle like this, so what you gotta do... Okay, avoid the Nightmare Parasite that he throws at you. you got, what you gotta do... Get off me. That. And you will reveal Nightmare's true form. Now the one thing about Nightmare is about these um these cores is that okay maybe I should not spoil it. Ooh, that was close. It was smaller right there. Nope, I can let you do that. Okay, if I would have parried his hits right there, I would have been able to. Actually, damage him. Oh, he's using the laser. Get that activated. Make sure do it again. Oh, he's actually draining my DC right there. Got 
the air before he swallows me. That sounds... That sounds suggestive out of context. Come on, that oh, that's actually oh, I'm actually dead. What do you mean I didn't hit him right there? He just activated. Uh, oh, that's okay. Point of back of damage. Ah! Ah! Damn it! Okay, not too bad because he's fairly low on health. So this is what happens if you get swallowed by Nightmare. You get sent to basically the Nightmare Dimension, I guess you could say. But you know what? No, let's not call it the Nightmare Dimension. Let's call this the Shadow Realm. Because that's basically what it is. Or it could be like Nightmare Stomach or some sort, but I'm still gonna call it the Shadow Realm. Okay. Alright, now we gotta deal with Phantom again because Nightmare will summon basically fake copies of previous bosses we already fought. Phantom and Kit. The good thing is that the, um, the nightmare versions of these guys are very weak, so it didn't take that long to kill them. Ugh. And as you can see, that did take a good chunk of his health. So all I have to do is not die. Now. is defeated. Okay. Now, before we go and preside on my head, let's actually go back. Look, not this way. Because there is a secret mission that you're going to want to complete. Now, how do we activate the secret mission? Easy, we just have to go back to, um, to the room that had the biplane in it. Okay, I did not get that much help from that. But I can... I can fix this by going in here with the... Uh, a bunch of metal right there. I have to spend my money wisely here, because I do want to get... Actually, let's get Inferno first. Wow, I actually have nothing left. Well, that sucks. I wanted to get some more upgrades to my health and DT, but I guess not. of darkness hunt down all the shadows so basically we gotta do some shadow hunting we already got two to deal with right here so it looks like this one's gonna come out first
Come on, buddy. Can you come down and fight? Let's see if I can bait him into using. Okay, I was able to do it, but... fact, if you do what I just did, you get double the amount of red orbs. Alright, there's more shadows to fight. There's one in this room right here. He is gonna be behind the staircase right here. Okay, no, I see him. He's, in, he's over in that corner over there. In the upper half. Right about here. Oh, son of a bitch. Come on, shadow! Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on, kitty, come on. Okay, I think he's special. Okay, now, now he's coming. He is a really special case, isn't he? Uh, how long are you gonna keep doing that, buddy? Okay. I think my cat has issues. I think he has Down Syndrome. Come down here. Oh, now he wants to come down. Alright. It doesn't matter, I'm full out of toll. This will mildly irritate me, but I still get double the amount of red orbs. Okay. He is not the last one. There is one more shadow to take care of. I believe it's this way. Yep, right here. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Now I can't really do the the trick I was showing you earlier here because this room is very small. Oh, oh my god! I gotta tail the fuck out of that thing from this guy. Damn, he just rushed me. Okay, now he's mad. Now he's gonna be enraged. Cool guys, oh look at explosions. <laughs> Alright then. And that's that. Pretty simple secret mission. Alright then. Let's go back to the room where Nightmare was at. And let's, let's just basically just get out of here. Imagine if I got hit right there after I taunted his ass. I should wait, hold up. Let's go back and fight him. No. Nope. There we go. Because I want red orbs, bitch! Oh. What the What the fuck? Are you? This would be a good showcase, showcase inferno. Apparently I'm not doing it right, because like, it won't activate. Okay, hold on. Action. Infer Inferno. While jumping in Devil Trigger, press left stick and X. Okay, I was doing it wrong. Silly me. Ah! 
Well, get off of me! That was a good showcase of it right there, jeez. Sure you can- Ha! <laughs> nice. I'll do it in the next mission. Fuck it. Okay, just shut told me the same thing we, we just found out, so we have to go this way. Now, I don't know if there is a secret up here or not, still. I believe I can fly! Oh god! Oh god, platforming in this game! It's very, um, not good, but I'm actually look. Ah, wow, I made that look way better than it should be. Okay. It's reacting to the growing evil surge of the darkness. Shall I use the Staff of Hermes? I can barely read that, by the way, because I can barely read the text right there because of the objects. There we go, both. Let's go in here. Uh, Leo? Because there is actually a blue orb right here. Nice. And that's another completed one. And we got an untouchable. I don't think I've ever used an untouchable so far in this run. Uh, can we go in here? Sword is growing stronger. I can hear a voice that comes ahead. Those who want to open the gate to the underworld shall borrow the strength of the blue stone. Okay, I can't go in there yet. We gotta go this way first. Twenty-two minutes. Not bad, but I think I'll do one more mission. Got an A rank. Nice. Save. And slash away at the dragon and enter the court with the quicksilver. Alright, let's upgrade my devil trigger and the blue war. Oh, I can only upgrade one. Well, that sucks. Alright then. Let's get start. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go downstairs. Upstairs, I mean. Okay, we did go in here. Vandalism! For money, basically! And a marionette right here as well. He does. I just messed him up. And that's it. Okay, let's go upstairs again. Destroy that chair for no reason. Alright, we got the moonlight. First, let's switch to Ifrit. You'll know why I did that. Because... Light, that's a very cool shot. But these are frost! These are basically. Hello? Okay, um. They just stood still for like a good. A good second. These are frost. They're basically blades, but stronger. And they can only be really damaged by Ifrit because. Oh, well, the ice demon, so it makes sense. This is actually a, a fairly good place to come back and try to farm like red orbs from them because every time you exit and enter that door, they'll respawn. And they do give a good amount of red orbs each time you kill them, so. Yeah. But, uh, how, 
Buster. Ah, I hate when they can do that. Oh my god. That's, this is the main reason I freaking hate the freaking fetishes, because they can just parry your shit out of nowhere and counter it. I just saw him because he looked like a dumbass right there when he completely failed to hit me with that spinning attack. Alright, is that all of them? That should be all of them. Got a good amount of red orbs from all that, from that scuffle. Okay, we are, we have to come back here, so... I remember this place. Wow, the dragon ha has control over now. You it can't be moved. Basically, you have to hit the fireball back at this dragon statue. I'm getting utterly clowned on right here. There we go. We have defeated the dragon. You know, if you look closely at it, it's more like a T-Rex than a dragon. It is what it is. Oh wait, we do actually have to... We do actually have to do this. Yay, spinning my analog stick in a circle. Remember when freaking games back then made you do stuff like this with your analog sticks? So that you feel like you were immersed into the game? Ooh, we're spinning the analog stick and we have to spin a lever. Immersion! Nowadays, you, you rarely... Actually, no, you do see stuff like that still nowadays in some games. Especially with, like, the, the PS4 and the touchpad. I have not gotten a PS5, so I don't know how it's like with that controller, but I do say like that controller can... Make games feel very immersive. <laughs> there is a location right here that has a blue orb, and I'm trying to find it. Oh, there it is. There we go. It wasn't spawning for some reason, but. I just realized something before we proceed. I forgot about the secret mission that I was at the start of this mission. Yeah, it just it just hits me right now. I am totally not using my phone to tell me where all the secret missions are at. Please, I am trustworthy. I am not cheating. Please. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's go back to the start of this place to get that secret mission done. You will never be not annoying.
go back. Well, I'm an idiot. I am a complete idiot, and I don't feel like restarting this entire video just to show off a super mission. But uh, I am not going to stop for the whole time. I might put a link to it in the description so you know what super mission it was, but it's a fairly simple one. All you have to do is fight a death site. Yeah, a death site, and that's about it. Alright. Okay then. Where the Castilian must have sat to watch over his little celebrations and his court holdings. Oh, look who it is. A man with guts and honor. I like that. But it's a shame you serve Mundus. That was the most dramatic way to take off a helmet. Anyways, Nilo Angelo revealed his true face, and if you look at his face closely, who does it resemble? That's right, it's Nero. If you're... not Nero. What the fuck am I wrong with me? It's Virgil, Jesus! Because if you remember that in Devil Cry 3, we saw Virgil encounter... freaking um, Mundus. And he did try to challenge him. And the fact that he can do this. Summon swords. Rolling blade, that no summon sword would not be an issue. Come on. That's the basic, that's the best way to fight him. That gets you shit. Yes, 
Master. I don't know why they did not subtitle that, but <laughs> oh well. Alright, and I think that's a good point to end off. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Shinra Iota with Devil May Cry 1. I'll see you guys next time.